Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to a new week. It really is uh, becoming quite strange now for me. Uh, certainly, usually I wake up on a Monday morning feeling extremely exhausted uh, after a busy weekend. But of course, the weekends aren't busy now. Uh, all the service preparation has been done by sort of Tuesday, Wednesday time so that we can distribute resources by the weekend. And uh, then the recording, etc., uh, if it happens on a Saturday, still when it comes to Sunday morning, other than putting stuff up online, it's all done. So um, it's a very different experience just now to uh, have a a Sunday that's not so cluttered and a weekend that's not so cluttered. And so waking up on a, a Monday morning now fresh as anything. We're going to continue this week in our daily devotions on the theme of um, the resurrection. Continuing to look at some of the implications of the resurrection for us. Uh, but today being Monday, I wondered if we might use the Northumbria prayers together. And as we do so, uh, I wondered if we might um, use them the way they do at the Northumbria community. I had the privilege, oh, I think about six, seven years ago, just before I came to the circuit, uh, to go along with a group of my pre-ordination students uh, up to uh, the Northumbria community and uh, to share in their prayer life over a weekend. And one of the things I noticed was that they pray their prayers uh, at the speed of their breathing. Uh, and so it's really quite slow and every word and phrase is thought over. So the words will appear on the screen and I simply invite you to share in the prayers with me. So uh, let's prepare ourselves to pray and then let's let's pray together. And so our prayers from the Northumbria community. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Christ, have mercy. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we have believed and we have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you. Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. 
the prayer from today's prayer handbook for day 27 of the month, thinking today of churches in Central and Southern Europe, countries like Albania, Austria, Bulgaria and the Czech Republic. But this prayer first of all from the Venerable Bede. O Christ, the morning star, when the night of this world is past, bring us to the promised light of life, opening into everlasting day. And today, praying for the Yorkshire West District, thinking of our colleague Kerry Tankard. Eternal beauty, who came in Christ and is present by your Spirit, we praise you for the love that birthed creation and thank you that we can never exhaust the goodness of your gifts. Enable us to hear your call and to respond to your prompting that our hands may be the hands of your Son, Jesus Christ and our lives become a perfect offering through your blessed Spirit. May we flourish with your creation as we work with your grace for the good of all you have made. Amen. And then again today using prayers from um, John Bailey, uh, this prayer for today, the 27th day of the month. O most gracious God, grant that in everything that happens today, I may carry with me the presence of the sufferings and death of Jesus Christ my Lord. For your fatherly love shown in Jesus Christ, your beloved Son, for his readiness to suffer for us, for the redemptive passion that filled his heart, I praise and bless your holy name. For the power of his cross in the history of the world since he came, for all who have taken up their own crosses and followed him, for the noble company of martyrs and for all who are willing to die that others may live. For all those who freely choose to suffer for the sake of others. For pain bravely endured, for sorrows of this life that have been used for the building up of eternal joys. I praise and bless your holy name. O Lord my God, you dwell in pure and blessed serenity beyond the reach of human pain, and yet you look down in unspeakable love and tenderness upon the sorrows of earth. Give me grace, I pray, to understand the meaning of the pain and disappointments that I am called to endure. Save me from worrying. Give me a strong heart to bear my own burdens. Give me a willing heart to bear the burdens of others. Give me a believing heart to cast all my burdens on you. Glory be to you, O Father, and to you, O Christ, and to you, O Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Well, as I finish my breakfast this morning and as I begin to think about what the day ahead holds for me, um, like us all, I'm continuing to wonder during the season of Easter what it is to live out of the experience of the risen Christ, the implications of it. Last time I spoke about this, I was saying that the bottom line is death is defeated. Death is not the end of the story. Uh, but there's something else that's really quite tremendous about the implications 
of the resurrection. And that is that what Jesus said about himself and what um, he was leading people to believe about him has been vindicated. Um, I love that lovely quotation from C.S. Lewis, um, often thought of as the author of the Chronicles of Narnia and other great literature in the mid 20th century, often thought of being an Oxford man, but actually what most people don't remember is that originally he was from East Belfast in Northern Ireland. Yay! So uh, C.S. Lewis um, said, you know, he, he was either, Jesus was either mad, uh, i.e. that he was you know, delusional in the things that he claimed for himself and about himself, or he was evil, he was telling lies, he was trying to deceive people, or he was who he claimed to be, the Son of God. And the implication of the resurrection is that uh, what he said about himself is proven to be right all along. The one who said he was the resurrection and the life is risen. Uh, and uh, all uh, all the other messiahs that were around at the, the time, Tom Wright has a number, uh, catalogues a number of them in his writings, people who claim to be the messiah around the time of Jesus. And Jesus didn't claim to be a messiah, he didn't encourage people to say that or that he was the son of God. He just got on and did it. <laughs> uh, I often think it's a bit like if the, the Queen was to walk around or Prince Philip or uh, or uh, Charles or one of the, the senior royals were to walk around constantly um, introducing themselves saying, hello, I'm the Queen or hello, I'm Philip or hello, I'm Charles. Um, I'm William or whatever. If they had to do that, they think they were very insecure. We know who you are. Of course you are who you are. We, we know these people. We, we know who they are. And Jesus didn't go around saying, hello, I'm the Son of God. He just was the Son of God. He just did it. And the resurrection is the ultimate, the ultimate vindication that he was who he said he was. Those other messiahs had many followers. And then as soon as they died, they were forgotten. But not Jesus. Because of the resurrection, their lives were turned upside down. And they went and they transformed the world of their day. It's the year 2020. Uh, it's the beginning of a new week. Having the first cup of tea in the morning. And uh, about to head off into this day to all that it holds for me to uh, encourage the saints, to comfort the those in distress or in bereavement, uh, and to help lead the life of the church in this part of the country and play my part in that, and to share with us all the life of God, and to be ready to serve those who come my way, or the Lord puts my way in my way, and to share the good news, as and how occasion arises. So God bless you, as you head off into this day, may the Lord be with us in this week ahead. And tomorrow is Testimony Tuesday, so let's look forward to see what turns up there then. Okay, God bless and have a great day.